In this video I want to show how to create simple shrink wraps around the wires. So let's say we have this shape, we want to create shrink wraps around them. So first of all, let's go to the simple curve. Let's resample it. Something with more geometry, with more points. Then we want to carve it. Make sure you have these options. And then we want to we have to group by range, then press enter to go inside it, and then you can just with these two sliders you can change whatever how many whatever you want shrink wraps big B or very often you want them. So I'm going to maybe something like this. Not too many, not too few. So now we want to put down a delete. And then in the delete, just use the group one that is basically the one we just created. And in delete, you can also revert delete. So something like this. What's great about this? You can go back. You want to more of them or less. And now we can put down a sweep node. Go to go to the round tube. As you can see, that they are not actually collected. So what we can do before that is put down a poly polypath. Just press on connect endpoints like that, and you can see that now they are connected like that. So what now? Maybe we need a little bit more geometry, so we can increase it. Now let's do our, our actual shrink wrapping. So. What I'm going to do actually increase the size so that we are not gaining any, any intersections. So let's put down uh, from this vellum cloth. And here I'm not going to change anything, so it's going to be the basic. Basically, we're going to create a cloth objects from our, our cylinders now. And we want to also Collision geometry, which is going to be our wire, so put it inside collision geometry. Now let's create Vellum Solar. If we go on play, you see that actually it's already working, but of course, we want to connect it, so go here, attach the geometry node in a Vellum cloth like that, and of course. You can see that actually we are already seeing the points points going to the closest polygon that it's had. So that's exactly what I want. One thing I'm going to change in the stretch, the rest length scale, I'm going to put it at zero. This is going to ensure that we have no buffer zone before the, before the wire and actual shrink wrap. So it's going to fit nicely around the wire. So basically that's the only thing I'm going to change. If you go to the first then back to the simulation, you can see that it has shrink wrapped around it. Now it's not very nice looking now. What I'm going to do is just put down the smooth. I'm going to I'm going to put down boundary group to none. I'm going to smooth out the even the edges. And now I'm going to select our wire and smooth out geometry, put out the merge, and then before that, let's put down normal mode. So now we have our shrink wrapped around the wires. What you can do to give it some, to give it some, give it some thickness, you just put down a Peak modifier. It's very nice. Just scale it in a bit and then extrude. Also, do not create the because it just uh, do not create the outer bag because we don't need them. They won't be seen anyway. And now you can see that we have created shrink wraps. 
Maybe like the door. Maybe like the door. I think so. Something like that. So that's it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching, subscribe for more, and take care.